Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick run through one of my decks. Just real quick, so yeah. It's not the best, but hey. So we'll start with God of War X and Mega God of War X. These two are pretty good, especially Mega God of War X if if you can get a load of fairy energy onto your Pokemon. It's just thirty times the amount of fairy energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So you could just like spread them out between like multiple different Pokemon and it'd be great and it'd still work. Deancey's good because of Sparkle. So like it says if the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent flips a coin if tails that attack does nothing. I've gotten really lucky with other people's coin flips just going in my favour, so like they, they do nothing and it's great. It's fun for me. Hey, yeah. Um, Regirock EX is good because of its ability, so the attacks of all the other fighting Pokemon do 10 more damage, excluding the, excluding Regirock. Uh, the, the Shaman EX is just good in general, so it just allows you to, like, set up really easily and quickly. So, yeah. And then we go to the Zygods. I like Zygod cards anyway so we've got two of the 10 percent form just yeah first attack look out switch one of your opponent's bench pokemon with his or her active pokemon good if you just want to quickly just get the active pokemon out and just bring in a benched uh 50 percent zygarde this is kind of good just like especially with geostrike does 120 damage but it does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. But yeah, 120 damage, slot of damage. Yay. Um, so then we've got the Zygarde EX. I really like this card. This is like yay. Um, yeah, it's just like just for one damage. It can do up to like, it can do 40 damage if there's a stadium in play, which there's two stadiums in this deck, so that would then do 40 damage. Even Cell Storm's good because you do 60 damage and you heal 30 to yourself, so that's really good. And then we've got Carbink, which I really like because of its ability. Prevent all of, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon G EX. So, like this card, I like this card because I have faced people who like rely, who pretty much rely on the X's and because of the carving they can't do anything and it's so much fun just watching them not being able to do anything and just using power gem over and over again and just slowly killing them yay so we'll move on to trainers, supporters and stadiums ok so here's all the trainers supporters and stadiums there's a lot of different cards. I think that's the main problem with this deck, is that there's just too much of a variety of cards, so it's difficult to get out what I want, when I want it. So yeah, there's a few good cards in here, like the Repel, if you if you want, just switch out your opponent's active Pokemon with one of the bench. Um. Power Memory is really good for the Zygarde X because it only works on Zygarde X. And I don't know if you can read it, but but its attack is all cells burn. And you discard three energy attached to this Pokemon and you do 200 damage. So this, this card has won me a battle before against War Priest. Because I was getting like really frustrated and this was attached to my Zygarde EX and it managed to knock out his Pokemon and it won me the game and I was so happy because I was so stressed out <laughs> um, a couple of Professor Junipers uh, Hugh is really good especially if your opponent is trying to just like gather cards really quickly into the hand so then you can just use this and reduce it down to five cards and it makes people angry makes me happy yay i think one of the main setbacks to this deck is the fact that it only has one pokemon center lady and it's the only healing card in this deck 
so it makes it does make it quite difficult to try and keep Pokemon alive. So there's that. Lily is always good, Sh helping you draw cards. Charon is basically just like old Tierno and what's the current one? How I think. And yeah. So yeah, there's old there's older cards in this because I don't have enough money to buy like um a lot of newer stuff. Yeah. Um yeah, Professor X new theory. Bent spoon's quite good. It says prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. So what I'm assuming that means is that they can attack me, but if it has any other like effects, so like they get to search for something or whatever, then it then they can't do that. Like correct me if I'm wrong, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Trainer's Mail's good. Fighting Stadium. So, Fighting Stadium says the attacks of each fighting Pokemon in play do 20 more damage to the defending Pokemon EX. So, that would be good in conjunction with the Carbink. So, then its attack would do 60 instead of 40. And would just, like, and as the opponent would be an, an EX, the the defending Pokemon wouldn't be able to really attack me, like, at all. And I could just keep doing damage. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll just quickly move on to the energy. Okay, so here's the energy, real quick. We've got nine fighting energy, nine fairy energy, and three doubled colourless energies. So... Fairy energies for the Mega Gardevoir, just put them on my Pokemon somewhere. More damage with the Mega Gardevoir. Uh, fighting energy for everything else. and DC's good for Shaman and a couple of other things. So, yeah. That's my deck. It does need like a lot of improvements, but it's good for now. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with whatever I decide to make. Thanks for watching. Bye.